Action. When all the pieces in my brain came together for 1883, I decided to write it like a novel and then just film the novel. The writing is just really amazing. We knew that it was going to be authentic to the time. There's three classic struggles in these westerns. It's man against man, man against himself, man against the environment. And those struggles are all in this, in spades. Leading the wagon train north, you might be headed the same way. 1883 is the origin story of the Dutton family but it's like an original piece. You don't have to have ever seen Yellowstone to watch it. Most people who went west had no notion of what the southwest was like or the Great Plains were like, had no idea. They were horribly ill-prepared. We're traveling with a caravan of immigrants, and I think that that's a modern sort of turn on today's world. And this journey, it's so compelling, and it tells a story that just, it's gut-wrenching, but it's truthful. You are pioneers. You have no home, no job, no farm. You have the journey. That's it. Billy Bob was so fantastic. He was like the angel on my shoulder. I play this sheriff, Jim Courtright, who is pretty straight to business. Don't just sit there shaking. Are there any more? So the infamous cowboy camp it's a time that Taylor allows the cast to all meet one another and just learn how to ride horses, but in a fun, interactive setting. Cowboy Camp was the most fun out of all of it. You know, we're riding around on horses, target practice, we're roping, we're doing all this stuff. And we fully immersed ourselves in the cowboy culture. This is ranch living right here. I'm learning how to ride a horse and rope. I am particularly good on a horse. It was probably because the horse was very well trained, <laughs> so I don't want to take all the credit. That's a harder deal than people think it is to drive a wagon. This is a, a bumpy ride. This is the closest thing I've gotten to a massage since July. The art directors and the art department in general are brilliant. The first thing is just turn back the clock to 1883. So that's been the journey, literally not cheating it. There's no VFX. When I get to see the actors kind of walk on set, that's the best part. I have to admit I'm a super nerd for good production design. I always go and look at the props. Designing 1883 has been quite the journey and something new for me. Janie Bryant is a visionary. She really did her research to piece together everything to be custom made, so it was really quite impressive. Welcome to the White Elephant Saloon. So you can see that we've actually enhanced it quite a bit. We brought in our own lighting, brought in our own taxidermy. We brought in all of the furniture. I think it turned out quite nicely on this one. You ready to travel? I spent my last night in this town, and I'm leaving now. As a storyteller, my job is to hold a mirror up to nature and reflect back the world as it was. It's rare to have the kind of story that we have been handed. A story about this diverse group of people that came from far and wide. This is what happened. This is the journey that our ancestors took. I think Taylor creates such an incredible world with his writing that it's so easy to get lost in it. The audience is going to get very connected to these characters, and, and some heartbreak is coming, and some catharsis is coming, and some beauty's coming, and you know, I can't say much more than that. 1883, new episodes now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus.